If you're looking for highly customizable pop-ups in your .NET MAUI app, then look no further. In this video, we're going to look at Mopups, which is a plugin that does just that. Let's go check it out. If you have been developing apps with Xamarin Forms already, then you probably know the rg.plugins.popup name, uh, which has been a very popular library for showing pop-ups in your Xamarin Forms application. It has highly customizable pop-ups. I have another video on it uh, as well. If you need it for Xamarin Forms, it should pop up on your screen right now. Um, but for .NET MAUI, it wasn't really announced that there was going to be support for this library for .NET MAUI. So our wonderful community, after like poking the author for a lot of times, because we don't want to fragment the ecosystem, right? Um, but after that, the wonderful, wonderful community has taken up the task to now create a .NET MAUI compatible version, which is called Mopups. And in this video, I'm going to show you what it is exactly and how to get started in your .NET MAUI application. I've booted up my Visual Studio 2022 and I created a file new .NET MAUI application. So here we are. It, I didn't change anything. I called it MAUI Mopup Sample. Um, so the first thing we want to do is install this library on our .NET MAUI application. So go to your Solution Explorer, right click on the project and do manage NuGet packages. And then under the browse blade right here, you're going to search for mopups. You can see I already did that. So mopups. And at the time of recording, we have version 1.1.0. Um, so just install that. I have been creating this uh, .NET MAUI app for .NET 7. I'm not sure if there is a .NET 6 compatible version. I would assume so. Um, but this one works also on .NET 7 already. And now it's installed. And what you want to do, which is kind of typical for plugins that work with .NET MAUI, is go to your MAUI program.cs and add it to our generic host builder. So here after use MAUI app, I'm just going to say dot configure mopups. And that should be enough. You can see it brings in the uh, right using automatically. If it doesn't do that, do it uh, uh, manually using mopups.hosting. And then you can use this extension method with configure mopups. And that should set you up to use these mopups inside of your application. So that's great. There's nothing more that we need to do here. Well, unless you want to use it with dependency injection, right? So with MVVM stuff, hang around until the end of this video to uh, learn how to do that. I'm going to show you first how to use it like the, the plain old way with a static instance of the mop-up service. So um, the, the similar to the um, .NET MAUI Community Toolkit pop-ups, you'll have to create a special kind of pop-up page to use with this. I also have a video on the .NET MAUI Community Toolkit pop-ups. Um, it should pop up in your screen right now or find it down below in the links where you find all the links for this video, including the sample code um, GitHub of this video. So here we are back here. I'm going to add a new page that will serve as our pop-up page. I'm going to go to our solution explorer once more. I'm going to right click on my project and do add new item. And here I'm going to go to the .NET MAUI category and I'm going to get the uh, .NET MAUI content page. Don't mistake this for the Xamarin Forms content page that's in here as well. Don't do that one because then um, things will blow up. Um, you want to have the .NET MAUI content page. And I'm going to use the XAML one. You can do it in code if that's what you want. Also, you can see here that all the templates are duplicate here uh, for my machine for some reason. Uh, it's probably because it's a development machine, right? S stuff happens. So I'm going to call this my pop-up page. Here we go. And uh, let's add that. And we're going to get a very simple content page, right? So the thing that we want to do is add an XML namespace here. So XML and S, and I'm going to call that mop ups and oops is, and I'm going to search for mop ups and I'm going to get the mop ups dot pages. So this will uh, import this namespace and I can now with this shorthand notation uh, reference the mop ups. And I'm going to do this here on the content page. So I'm going to replace this with the mop ups and I'm going to make this a pop-up page, right? So this is now a pop-up page that I can use with the mop-ups to show pop-ups. Do you still follow? <laughs> um, and the pop-up page is just an inheritance from the actual content page. So everything that you can do with a content page, you can also do with a pop-up page, but we have a couple of things more that we can do now. For instance, if we go here to our example, you can see um, something with background. So we have a Android Talkback accessibility workaround. So check out the documentation on the repository. This has something to do with Android accessibility, a workaround that you can enable or disable with this. Um, but other things are background clicked. So you can create um, pop-ups that have like this dimmed background and you can click and get an event whenever that background is clicked. We also have a command if you want to use it with MVVM. Um, but you also uh, can set a property close when background 
count is clicked, yes or no. So should it do the light dismiss? That's also known as light dismiss. If you tap outside of the pop-up, should the pop-up close, yes or no? So those are all things that you can influence with this pop-up page, which is really cool. Now, okay, we got this, uh, my pop-up page. So let's keep it at that. And um, actually I'm going to trigger this. So we have this main page. That's just the waving.net bot with the button. I'm going to go to the code behind. And for this button, I'm going to remove everything here. We don't need the counter and that kind of stuff. And what you want to do is here, do the mop up service. You can see it here already, dot instance. So this is a static instance that you can use. And then we have a couple of navigation pages and also again, a couple of events. So we have popping, we probably have also so popped and popping and pushed. So we have a couple of events that um, you can uh, hook into to see whenever a uh, pop-up has been pushed or popped. Uh, so you have those, but also of course the uh, methods to you know push something or pop something or pop them all or remove a page from the stack. So there's all the stuff that you can do here. I'm just going to focus on the push and pop right now. So you can do push async. And here I have to provide a new pop-up page. So I'm just going to say new my pop-up page and that should be it. You can also have this Boolean uh, to say um, if it's uh, animated, yes or no. So uh, you can skip the animation and just boom, um, put it on the screen right there. It's giving me a little build error right here, which is probably because I forgot to do one thing in my my pop-up page. So we have this my pop-up page.xaml, um, which I changed the root, right? So I created this with mop-ups, um, the mop-up page. And uh, what I didn't do here in the code behind is also uh, change the um, inheritance from here. And there's a little trick. You don't even need to have this here because we already specified what what the base class is for this. So I'm just gonna remove this here so I don't have to update that all the time. And now I think our main page is going to be happy as well. And we should have everything. So I'm just gonna run this on Android. We should have everything to actually show our first pop-up page and a little trigger warning. Uh, it's going to be very ugly. <laughs> um, it's not going to be very nice looking. You have to do a couple of things to actually make it show nice and like an actual pop-up, but um, we're just going to see what this does from scratch. Okay, here we go. Our application is being deployed to the Android emulator. So it should be here momentarily. Um, we will see the .NET bot just waving at us. And now when we click the button, it's not going to be incremented, but it's going to show our little pop-up, which is now let's go to our little my pop-up page. It's going to be just a vertical stack layout with one label, welcome to .NET Maui, right? So it's not going to be really impressive, but We'll see, um, we, we'll make something nice out of it. So here we are, and whenever I do click me, you have to look real close because here at the top, you will have this welcome to .NET MAUI and it kind of like slides up, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, but this is our pop-up. Now, this is not really a pop-up that you probably want to have in your application, but it is a pop-up. Um, and it's probably because we have the simple label and, and vertical stack layout. Now, um, a little at the time of recording, it doesn't really work well with XAML hot reload. So that's why I'm stopping and restarting a couple of times here. Um, but you know, um, we, we will make it work. So here, this vertical stack layout, um, let's just give that a little bit of, 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 of more body right here. So what you probably want to do here is give that a little uh, width request and height request. So with request, let's make that, I don't know, 250. Uh, the height request, let's make that 300 so that we have a nice little box, right? And it will show up probably in the middle of our screen. Um, well, actually to do that, we're just going to specify the vertical options and we're going to say center and expand, right? So it's going to be at the center and let's give it a little background color of, well, let's just make it white, right? So uh, now actually let's make it something more, um, let's make it yellow so that it looks, you know, you can at least see it. It's not still really pretty, but at least you can see what's going on. White is the other page was white as well. So now I got a couple of more options here. I'm redeploying my app and we should see now that our pop-up page is at least a little box that's going to show up in the middle of our page. It's going to have a yellow background and it looks more like a pop-up already. So let's see if that's actually true. Click me and boom, here we are. We have this little yellow box, which is now in the middle. You can actually see our welcome to .NET MAUI label as well. So now we have this pop-up in our application. Okay, let's take it a step further, right? So I'm going to copy and paste uh, a lot of XAML in here. So don't be scared. I'll give you the, um, the important bits right here. So let me just copy in this thing and 
pasted in here. So what I just pasted in here is a scroll view so that, you know, whenever the um, page is somehow long enough, or maybe I should say the other way around, whenever your device is small enough that it can show the full page, it's going to scroll a little bit, right? So that it don't, doesn't go out of view. Um, and inside of that, we have a stack layout. Um, I should probably make this a vertical stack layout to make it more .NET MAUI. I copied this code from a Xamarin form sample. Um, so now we have that and we have an entry with a username, an entry with a password and a button to actually log in, right? So we have that. We'll see how that looks in, in a little bit. Um, what I also want to do is have that dimmed background, right? Because just now we saw that yellow box, but it wasn't really clear that it was a pop-up, right? Apart from there was a yellow box. So what we can do is give the full page a background. Um, and now I can say, okay, I want to make this background color. Um, and I can specify a, a hexadecimal value, right? So I could say 80 and then just six uh, zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. And this first two is kind of like our transparency thing, right? So you can see here in the little uh, preview as well that it's uh, black, but it's a little bit transparent. So now we get that dimmed background. Um, and just to show you, um, I can also now set the close when background is clicked. I'll set that to false. I think the default is true. So whenever we click outside of the uh, pop-up, it's not going to close, right? Because we want to make this a modal kind of pop-up thing. So now we have that. Uh, and the one other thing that I want to do here is this button clicked. I need to implement this um, so that you actually do the login logic, right? So I'm not going to do that. Uh, but what I can do is actually close the pop-up here. So since we're using this static thing, I can just do mopups uh, service dot instance dot pop async. So now I can just pop this uh, this page and I can again say if it should be animated, yes or no. There's by default a little animation. Um, and whenever I do this, I think I got everything in place. We're now going to see a little bit more um, extended pop-up, so uh, extensive pop-up. So we're going to have a couple of entries that you can use. You can do everything here inside of your pop-up page with data binding, with MVVM, if that's what you want, your login logic. Um, you can request the user for some input. Um, and then you can, you know, tap that button, validate all the input and close the pop-up if you're happy with it, right? So let's click it, let's see what it looks like. You can see that background dims a little bit, right? That's that background color that I set on the My Pop-Up page. So that's, uh, let's scroll up here, that's here, this background color. And then you can set this border background color, which was previously known as a frame in Xamarin Forms, which is white. So we have this white, background right here. And then we have the entries. It still needs a little bit more styling here. I, I'm totally aware, um, but at least we have something, right? I'll leave the styling to you. You're probably much better at that as, than I am. Um, and now whenever I click the login button, it's going to pop, right? It's going to go away. Um, so if you've looked closely, then you could see that there is a little default animation. I think it kind of like zooms from the middle um, to, to, uh, to, to the middle of the screen. There you go. And whenever it goes away, it goes, yeah, it, it becomes smaller, um, but you can create your own animations as well. So again, I'm not going to type all the things here for you. So let's bring in a little animation. You can do that with um, the mop ups uh, page, pop up page animation. Now it doesn't recognize this because the animations live in a different frame, uh, in a different namespace. So I'm going to do here XML NS and I named it mop ups anim from animations. And then here you search for animations, mop ups animations put that in there and then now it starts recognizing all these things. And here you can specify in the animation. So this is the animation property. You can do a scale animation and you can say like, hey, the duration for the animation coming in is going to be 700 milliseconds. We have the easing, um, scale in, scale out. So we have all these properties that you can set. You can write your own animations if that's what you want. So we should see a little different animation. Um, now, before I'm going to show you this, let's put in another thing as well. Maybe you want to have this crazy kind of like pop-up, right? Right? And because we're using a border and all the elements that are inside of .NET MAUI that will allow you to create wonderful layouts, I can just play with the border right here. So what I can do is do border dot stroke shape. So I can set the uh, shape of this uh, stroke, which is like the stroke is like kind of like the outer layer, right? So we have this thing and now I can say round uh, you have all kinds of things, right? But I'm going to use the round rectangle, uh, which is kind of like the easiest to create uh, rounded corners. And I can say corner radius, and then I can specify the four corners, right? So I can just say, I don't know, 20. So it will round 20 on each corner, or I can do something crazy like um, 40, comma, zero, comma, zero, comma, 40. 
and now we will have two uh, corners that have a rounded corner and the other ones will be square. So it will kind of like look designy, hopefully, maybe, right? Um, so let's see how, what this does. And then I'll show you how to um, use all of this with dependency injection and more in the MVVM way. So we have this uh, two things. We have this new animation and we have a, a rounded corner here for our pop-up as well. So here the application is coming back up. And whenever I click this, you have to look closely, I think. It bounces a little bit, right? So and whenever I click outside, I can't click outside because I disabled that. So I need to click here. Um, so it kind of like bounces up, right? You can see that. That's our custom animation. And you can also see that I have this rounded corner right here on the uh, top left and also on the bottom right. So you can create all these kinds of shapes and crazy pop-ups for whatever you want with all kinds of events and commands that you can hook into. So very customizable pop-ups here. Now, the last thing, if you want to use this with dependency injection and that kind of stuff, uh, which is, you know, more real world, uh, you should do that inside of your applications. Let's go back to our solution explorer and to my Maui program. And what you want to do is register basically that mop up service um, as a dependency, right? It is a, an interface, it's the iPopup navigation interface. So I should do builder.services.add, and I can register this as a singleton. So let's do this iPopup. Um, navigation, there we go. Um, but it doesn't have a default implementation, right? So I'm going to have to specify the mop up service dot instance, which is a instance of the iPop of navigation. So I've registered this. Now I want to uh, do another one for my page so I can actually resolve this, right? So services dot add transient. Your pages are probably the best off when they're transient. So main page. And whenever I do this, I'm now ready to uh, consume this iPop of navigation from the constructor in my main page. So let's go back to my main page.xaml.cs. I can now here say, hey, I want to request a iPop of navigation, which is called pop up navigation. Let's make this a field iPop up navigation as well, which is also called pop up navigation. Um, which is not maybe the best naming convention, but oh well, this is sample code. Um, so here I need to say this dot popup navigation so that it knows that it has to reference that field and uh, is popup navigation the one that's coming in here. And what I can say now is not use this mopup service dot instance, but I can say uh, popup navigation dot push async, right? So I can now use this service that is injected um, and I can do the same, of course, set it up for my popup page as well um, so that it uses that same service and I can use it with dependency injection and MVVM. And that's how you can get started with mopups in your .NET MAUI application. So that is pretty cool, right? You have all the power of .NET MAUI layouts at your fingertips with borders and, and stack layouts and grids, and you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, and your pop-up page is just a content page, so you can design it however you want. You can make it full screen if that's what you want. You can make it only a portion of the screen. Um, I cannot wait to see what you come up with with all kinds of crazy design and use cases for this. So please let me know down in the comments if I skipped over something that you uh, want to know more about. Also, please let me know in the comments and I will make something follow up um, or I will just respond to you in the comments as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, please click that like button so that it will spread through out the YouTubes to more people to enjoy this content. Subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn more about the maybe .NET MAUI community toolkit pop up so you, that you can make a comparison, which one is better for you, check out this video right here or check out the full .NET MAUI playlist, which is right here. And I'll be seeing you on the other side for the next video.